Not long after. I felt like I was getting the flu except I couldn't shake it. So when I got back to Australia, I had some blood tests done. And then I started feeling better. And I thought I didn't bother getting the results. And then I just forgot about it. And then I met Kaz. She's always made me feel the way I want her. There's still a chance that she'll be okay, but you have to tell her tonight. No. No, I've got, I've got a better idea. What if there's a way to get her to have blood tests done without her knowing why? What difference is that going to make? Well, if it saves us three days of hell waiting for the results, then it's worth it. You can't lie to her, not about something this I'm big. I'm trying to protect her and the baby, Martha. I'm sorry this is happening to you. I know you're in shock and you're scared, but you have to tell her the truth. And I will. But when she needs to know it, and not a moment before. It's the only thing I can control. Okay, well, you at least have to send her a text message. She's worried about where you are. First, I need to know you're going to help me get those blood tests. I stopped and thought about it, I'd be terrified. There's so much to do. I've got to sell the house, I've got to pack everything up, I've got to organise a school for VJ over the US, and somehow I've got to try and fit in my last few shifts at the diner. Oh, okay, so let us help you. Me, Sal, Rach, we'll all pitch in. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oops, sorry. Oh, it's Hank. He's back from the city and can't wait to see me. Hmm. I wonder what's keeping Martha. I wouldn't mind finishing early. Ah, uh, darling, I think I might hit the road. I really don't think those two are going to notice I'm gone. <laughs> Fair enough. See, See you, alone. Yep. I have a feeling there's going to be a few sparks between you and Irene. She gives as good as she gets. <laughs> have you given any thought to where you're going to stay now that you're hanging around? Probably going to have to rent somewhere. I'm surprised you've lasted as long as you did. It must have been really cramped living in that panel van. What? Just wondering why you're suddenly interested in where I sleep. Who says I'm interested in that? Hey, Timmy. Hey, Sam. Welcome home, love. How'd it go? It was right? great. Oh, good. Yeah. good. There's uh, something I wanted to ask you about first. Yeah? I know Martha's back in town. Right. You seem a little worried about that. It just depends why she's returned. Do you know anything? I have she and Michael broken up for good? Sam, you've just returned from your honeymoon, love. This is not something you need to stress about. She came to the wedding, Tony. I saw her at the back of the church. So you tell me, do you think I have something to worry about? Look, Martha is not here to cause you trouble. Right? That's something I know for sure. Well, she better not be. Jack and I are married now, and I'm going to protect that no matter what. Everything all right in there? Fine. He's quiet tonight. That's what we want to hear. I just don't think I can lie to her. Well, it's not a lie. All you're doing is asking her to have some tests done. Do you know how completely bizarre that sounds? She's going to ask heaps of questions. Not if you give her a reason. Tell her she's got to do it for work. 
I don't know any jobs that make you give a blood test. Well, like I said, say it's an insurance thing. Oh, wait, Janice, tell her she's got to have a medical done so she's covered by the surf club's insurance. She just won't believe me. And find a reason to make her believe you, Martha. She trusts you. I'm off the road. Mm. Are you trying to get me drunk? <laughs> Why? What happens when you get drunk? <laughs> well, that'd be more than... <laughs> Hi, you having a good night? Yes, I'm enjoying the company. Mm -hmm. And that's all there is to it. Maybe a little bit more? I think so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I told him I wasn't into anything serious, but maybe I'm changing my mind. Oh, oh that's enough. Okay, sorry. <laughs> hey, I started to think you weren't coming back. Yeah, sorry, I got held up. Oh, don't worry about it. That's last drinks, okay? Um, leave this. You go home. Oh, is that cool? He just texted his home, finally. Oh, good. You should go. Thank you. Um, hey, I meant to tell you, uh, the insurance company wants us to do a medical check. I know it's a bit weird, but they want all employees to have a blood test. What for? I don't know. I guess it makes sense to them. I know it's a pain. Do you think we could do it tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. I want to spend the day with Hank. Well, it won't take long. To be honest, you'd be doing me a favour. I hate needles. <laughs> Do you want me to hold your hand? Do you mind? As long as we don't do it too early, I might actually be sleeping in now he's home. You know what I mean? Hey. hey. <laughs> I missed you. Yeah, I missed you too. <laughs> Are you okay? What's been going on? Didn't you get all the messages that I left? Uh, yeah, yeah, I, I've been caught up in meetings. <laughs> Martha thought you were buying me a diamond ring. Oh, I, 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 I'm going to. I mean, I, I will. I'm I just... teasing. It doesn't matter. <laughs> hey, you know that job I was telling you about? Well, they're sounding me out about taking a longer contract. Isn't it? Oh, uh, I feel like I'm getting a cold or something. I don't want to give it to you. I don't care. I've already had it. No, no, no. You need to stay healthy for the baby. I wanted to welcome you home properly. What are you doing here? Did, did Martha let you out early or something? Yeah. Martha's funny. She wants me to go to the doctor's with her tomorrow and hold her hand. Oh, yeah. Yeah. The insurance company's making all the bar staff have blood tests. Have you ever heard of that before? No. No, it makes sense though, I suppose. They just need to be covered in case someone gets sick or has an accident. Yeah, I suppose. I can go in with you 